Brandon Day, that served in the 101st uh, Division with Charlie Company in the 1st of the 327th. He served uh, two terms in Iraq for a total of five years and two months, serving first during the initial invasion and began in 2005. Mr. Day is a native of St. Paul. We welcome him. saying that bad things come in threes a month after that, 
when another one of our trucks was struck by an IED. This time the truck caught fire after the blast. The fire caused the hundreds of rounds in the trunk to begin cooking off, preventing any attempt at a rescue. I just hope it was the explosion that killed them and not the fire. Four of our brothers left us that day as well. With one final twist of the knife that was already stuck so deeply into our chest, I learned how bitterly cruel this game of war can be. To what I can only imagine was a mixture of confusion, exhaustion, and miscommunication, our last casualty stepped out of a helicopter hovering 120 feet above the ground and plunged to his death, leaving us to wonder how it could have happened and why. I learned how to cope with the torment of suicidal thoughts and that I'm not alone in that. A handful of guys from my unit confessed to me that they are plagued with the same thoughts. If that's not bad enough, a few developed a nasty little habit known as cutting. If you're unfamiliar with the term, I'll outline it for you. When someone experiences severe emotional trauma or is put in a position where they must numb themselves from life just to get through every day, they may seek to feel something else. Sitting alone in a room with a knife, they cut themselves and they feel something else. These are some of the lessons that the men and women who fight on your behalf are learning every single day. These are the burdens that we carry for the rest of our lives. I won't speak to the legitimacy of this war tonight, but I ask that as you contemplate it, you remember that there are nearly 4,000 dead American soldiers seven times as many wounded, and no one comes home undamaged. For those of you who want to do something but are hesitant for any reason, I implore you, get active on behalf of the men and women who risk everything for us. Your voice does matter, and now is the time to take a stand. Congressman Ramstad, I ask you to justify your continued support President Bush's policies in Iraq. When a person decides that they will risk their life for their country, they cross a bridge that few do, and they gain a wisdom that few have. I have crossed that sacred bridge. And Congressman Ramstad, I tell you that this war is not worth the blood that it costs to fuel. The next time you're faced with a vote concerning the war, side with America, and side with the troops that live and die defending her. Bring the troops home. Bring the troops home and give us the care that we need and deserve.